Hello everyone, myself Dr. Jyoti Mandala welcome you all to the video lectures on object oriented programming through Java. So this is our first lecture. In this lecture we will see the introduction to Java programming language. So in this lecture we will see what actually Java programming language is, what are its uses and what, um, some companies where they uh, will be using this Java programming language and little bit history about this Java and we will conclude with the uh, installation procedure. Now what actually Java is? Java is a programming language which is a simple programming language. So it is one of the most popular languages available and it is open source and free. Open source and free is nothing but we can uh, if you want to develop any Java application software is required and that software is called as a JDK software and that JDK software is open source and it is freely available. We can install that one. We can download that software uh, freely. And we have a huge community support that means tens of millions of developers are available who already know this Java programming language. That means whenever you are stuck with any problem while developing any applications then first support to solve to give suggestions about that um, problem we have millions of developers who can help us in solving that problem. And it is close to C and C++ that means the mo mostly Java syntax has been taken from this C and C++ uh, and it helps us to create modular programs and reusable code. Once a code has been developed it can be reused, reused in the Java programming language and it follows an approach of write a program once and then run the program on multiple operating systems. So in depth about this we will see in future lectures but what is the thing is using this Java once a program is developed in one operating system the same code can be run in different operating systems that means works on different platforms like Windows, Mac, Linux like that okay so Java is a high level um, programming language and it is an object oriented programming language what actually an object oriented programming is nothing but we'll see in we'll see in future classes right now where the Java programming language is, is used Java programming language are used to develop mobile applications especially whenever you want to develop Android apps then we can use this Java application and uh, to develop the desktop applications, web applications can be developed by using this Java and you, whenever you want to develop any gaming applications that gaming application can be simply developed by using our Java programming language and uh, uh, cloud based applications and if you want to develop any software tools those tools can also be developed and database connectivity if you are having a database then the database connectivity uh, is easily done by our java programming language and it is not the end I mean, much more can be done by using our java programming language and let us see what are all the companies that use this java here i'll show you some companies it is not limited to those companies this is the logo that will be used for java the reason behind this logo i'll tell you in the next slide so this is the java logo and the company that will be using this java programming language is uber the uber software is completely developed by using this java and pinterest i think you all know what actually a pinterest is the software behind this one is also using java amazon is developed by using java linkedin oracle and apple software is also developed by using this java got it so now let us see the history behind this java programming language uh, earlier they we used to have the c and c++ programming language they have thought like this c and c++ programming language uh, the programs will be developed in, in, a, in one an operating system will be executed in the same system only so there is no um, case of executing in multiple operating system so uh, the developers want to ha you have a programming language where uh, a program can be executed in multiple devices so to solve that program so to solve that problem so a team has been assigned and that team started working uh, and their project name is called as java development project Got all of you so sun microsystems has uh, has developed this java project and in 1991 now earlier the name is not java earlier they named this project as this programming language as oak but what happens is at that time oak has been already taken by someone so they need to change that name to another name 
so why they have changed that name to java is there is a reason behind that you know what is that is while making this java programming language the team used to consume a lot of coffee and that coffee uh, will be prepared by some coffee beans that uh, that has come from a famous island uh, which is very famous for coffee beans and that island uh, name is uh, and sorry not that island name and that coffee bean name is java so what they decided is they let us use this name for our new programming language is java got it so that is the that is the reason why they have given that logo as a cup of coffee so this is how the logo is also come now whenever you are taking the team members these are the three members which uh, these are the three main persons uh, for developing this project they are patrick mike and james gosling so these are the three uh, three members and the first publicly available version is java 1.0 and it is released in 1995 and earlier uh, now what happened is in 2010 this uh, oracle corporation whatever company is there that ha they have acquired the sun microsystems and from there onwards java is under their control and present the latest version of java is java 1 sorry java 14 or jdk 14 uh, jdk stands for java development kit and it has been released on march 17 2020 so this is a small history about this java right now let us see the installation process whenever you want to install uh, whenever you want to uh, do any applications java applications right any java application software is required and how to install that software we'll see now okay so uh, to do that task what we need to do is we need to move to the google and there you need to write download java jdk jdk stand, stands for java development kit okay when you click this one if you oh, see this is the thing we need to click if you observe here oracle.com that means java is under the control of oracle not sun microsystems got it now we need to click on this one and whenever you click on this one you re will be re redirected to this page here you can click jdk download and after that you this page will be displayed here if you scroll down uh, depending upon your operating system like linux mac or windows and that depending upon your bit size you can download the respective one so if you are say 64 bit you can download the exe file or a zip file now whenever whenever you click this one what happens that uh, file will be downloaded if you see here that will be downloaded once it is downloaded what you need to do is uh, you can click on the run no uh, after clicking on the run it will be the installation process is very simple you need to click next 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 that's it finish the installation process will be finished got it java installation is very simple no need to do extra thing now once the installation is done once the installation is done what we need to do so we need to check whether our system has been successfully installed with our uh, jdk software or not to do that what you need to do is if the installation is done we need to move to a path called c drive in this c drive we need to move to program files you need to click see here a folder will be created called java and under that jdk 14 version as we have installed that will be available and its software related software files everything will be automatically installed got it now if you want to check once this is done sometimes your system is may not be successfully installed even though these files are available to make sure whether your system is successfully installed or not what we need to do is we need to move to a command prompt to move to the command prompt in the run button click cmd and move to the command prompt and once you move to the command prompt what you need to do is you need to move to this path so how can you move uh, so we will be in a path like cd program files right and in the, in that we need to move to java and in that we need to move to the jdk 14 version and under that we need to move to the cd bin folder we need to move to this folder bin folder once you are in this path you need to type a command called java c 
remember this we need to type a command called java c if you click java c and click enter button it will display the list of directories and its related uh, um, softwares or not list of directories will be displayed once these things are displayed it is nothing but you are your system is successfully installed with the software okay got it so this is how you can check now whenever you want to develop any java applications we need to move to the bin folder and here we need to save our programs and we need to run our programs right so this is how the software will be installed i think you all are clear with this one how a software can be installed so once the installation is successfully done then we can proceed with our applications Got all of you. So with this, we'll come to an end of our first lecture that is about introduction to Java programming language. In the in our next lecture, we'll see what are all the uh, principles of object-oriented programming language, and further we'll proceed. Thank you all.